Clown. Hello everyone, I'm James Bruce. <laughs> 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 like, so that's the same level. That's just that's a normal level. level. Children. <laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> I'm James Bruce, reviews editor for makeuseof.com. And we've just had a stunning first day at IFA Berlin 2018. Uh, so this is our round table discussion of what we saw. Yeah. All right, I'm here joined by... I'm Joel Lee. I'm Mihir. I'm Anya. I'm Ian. And I'm Jackson. Oh, man. Cool. cool. So who's going to start? <coughs> I'll start, okay. <laughs> so uh, we, we, Anya and I went to a lot of the smartphone booths today. Uh, there wasn't much for smartphones in IFA because most of smartphones now happen at MWC. But we did see uh, the old war horse Blackberry. I don't know why Blackberry is still in the market, but it is. And they have a new phone, which is the Blackberry Key 2 LE. So LE, I think, st stands for light, light edition. Yeah. Because it's a stripped down version of the Key 2. Uh, it's a little cheaper than the Key 2 was. And I don't get why that is still in the market. Like, why would anyone buy that? Exactly. Is why that would anyone buy that? If you buy Blackberry, you are buying it because you want a premium. You want that keyboard and you want the Blackberry security. Okay, so we don't so, know who that was for. Okay, yeah, cool. like it, it, it's a very weird market segment to have. And the phone is, I think, about only 150 euros less than the Key 2. So I'm not sure anybody's going to buy it, but it was. And make use of predicts no sales. No sales. <laughs> <laughs> what was the the star smartphone? Oh, the LG G7 One, which is the new Android One phone by LG. Uh, it, it's it's again a stripped down version of the LG G7 Think Think Q or Thin Q. <laughs> no one knows. But how to but that. this one is the Android One version of it. Uh, it's supposed to be. A little more mid-range than the G7 Think was. I'm not sure how, what the pricing is going to be, but the Think was about $750, so maybe this should come in at about $500 or so. So it might be a little on the higher end of the mid-range category. It, it, it's one of the first few phones to come with the Android Assistant button, uh, which was really cool, the Google Lens yeah. button. So we had a whole demo of Google Lens with it, and it, it actually kind of works. So you can actually point, suppose you are interested in what these cookies are, you can actually just point your phone at them, tap the cookies, and you'll get places to buy the cookies. And it worked, the demo worked. Mm. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. That right. was nice. Yeah, and it does the same with places? Yeah, the, yeah. There, were three, there were three things in it. It does style, it does text, and it does mm. monuments or things. So. If you don't know a foreign language, you can actually just point your phone at the foreign language. It will give you a translation immediately. Mm. That was cool. The other thing is uh, so isn't objects. Isn't that just Google Goggles? Sorry? Isn't that just Google Goggles? It is Google Goggles, but they're adding on a little bit more to it. So it, it can sounds even... Sounds exactly the same. Sorry? <laughs> it sounds exactly the same. It is the exactly the same. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that it was is. the thing that needed it to is. exist. It okay. <laughs> but they're adding these two other things to it, which is style and... So like fashion and monuments. Fashion? Yeah. So you can take a picture of yourself and it's like, no, <laughs> do not go out like that. No, it's more that if anybody ever wanted to buy your, well, not your clothes, Jackson's clothes. <laughs> 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 they could actually like point the, uh, point the camera at Jackson's shirt and- Oh, it tells you yeah. where to buy it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. So it kind of recognizes. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That is, a, that is pretty cool. Yeah. That's also slightly terrifying. I don't want anyone pointing anything at me and finding out where I get my clothes. <laughs> I don't, you know. Well, the, well, all the listings seemed quite expensive, so yeah. maybe they just yeah. go for the yeah. highest price one. So it, it might make, it, make you look better than you are actually dressed. That's, uh, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Plus, if you forgot where you bought something, you could sort of use it on yourself and it would that's tell true. you where to yeah. read. Yeah. That's actually yeah. useful. That's, yeah. that's kind of cool, because I never know. <laughs> the landmark thing, you said monuments is one yeah. of the things. That, right, that yeah. strikes me as sort of cool. Yeah, because I've always been someone that if I go a place, I'll wander about, and I'm not really, I'm not very good at like the guidebook that says what it is. Yep. And as a bit of a like, you know, technology freak, mm -hmm. surprise, for a technology <laughs> website, uh, holding a phone up and just being able to kind of say, okay, what's that? And it'll this, you know, it'll yep. tell me the history of the Washington Monument if I was in Washington. You yep. Know, that would be cool. That sounds. Yeah. That sounds pretty it awesome. also yeah. recognizes details as well, so you don't have to take a picture of the whole thing. Mm. Just like a little. Nice. Yeah, even one section of it, it yeah. should work with that. Yeah. Nice. 
So those were the only two phones <coughs> that really made a made an impact. Really. Apart from that, Huawei launched their new chipset. But eh, that's such a small thing. Like, yes, chips are going to get smaller. So they, it's the first chipset with a seven nanometer chip design. So yay, it's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a yeah. That doesn't excite me. It is. It is. Oh, no, okay. it, it is more powerful. Oh, okay. I mean, as you go smaller, you you do get more power out yeah. of it. It's also the first one with like, uh, I think the Cortex A fifty sevens, the ARM Cortex A fifty sevens. So, I, it's it's not something to get overly excited about, but hey, it's it's again progress. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, next, let's talk about VR at IFA twenty eighteen. Um, well, we'd love to. Yeah, we'd love to, <laughs> uh, but we can't because there wasn't any. <laughs> yeah. So if we were judging the state of VR by what was at IFA, it would well and truly be dead. <laughs> but I don't want to say that because it obviously isn't. But uh, HTC weren't there. Oculus wasn't there. What was there? There wasn't an awful lot. Acer had a new mixed reality headset, which was uh, a bit higher resolution, brings it in line with the Samsung <laughs> Odyssey and the Vive Pro. But there's nothing particularly new about it. It's just bumping it up to the same as everything else. And that was pretty much it. We had a look at some augmented reality uh, Chinese import stuff. It was kind of running generic Android, and you could you could run anything on it. But meh. That was probably the coolest thing. I mean, it, uh, I say the coolest thing because we had so little to choose from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was probably the coolest thing because um, the the whole thing about the original Google Glass idea mm -hmm. that I really liked is the fact that it was this little thing that was just yeah. there, and you, and uh, and while you maybe looked a bit weird. Um, you, it really was augmented reality. There was more reality than there was that. And yep. Yeah, so that was what the, they called? the, the mad, mad Gaze, mad gaze X5, yeah. and that was the Google Glass clone sort of thing that you just clipped on your glasses and, and that ran in the corner. Although yeah, the clip right, wasn't yeah. on it yet, so I had to hold it there. <laughs> well, yeah, they gave, me, they gave me a set of glasses without lenses in it, so yes. I looked kind of good, actually. I've got you always had a little headband on it, but they, yeah. hadn't, they hadn't got the clip for glasses. But that was. Uh, but like it's out in the market, we can actually buy it. I believe they've just finished their Kickstarter and yeah. they're delivering now. Oh, it's a Kickstarter. Or I might be confusing that with their other one that they launched that wasn't particularly good. Mm. But, uh, but the, the X5 had... was about $500, I think. It should be available soon, yeah. if not right now. And that was about it. And then we also had a go on the Lenovo Star Wars Jedi Challenges. The <sighs> augmented reality thing. Yes, and that was... I mean, it's a mobile VR shell, so you put your phone into it, but... Mm don't think it's terrible just because it's mobile VR. It also had like some cameras in it and it used a PlayStation VR tracking system sort of thing mm -hmm. where it would look at a colored LED and then you could you could still move around and you had some controllers it would track. So it, it wasn't quite as bad as just a Google as, cardboard. As a, yeah, mm. as a cardboard. Although we should state that that has been released for over a year now. Um, is that actually this one? Yes. Yes, so that wasn't even new. Okay. So in terms of what was new, wow. we, we got a chance to play with that and Sorry. we can confidently tell you not to buy it. <laughs> um, it was a little bit limited. Mm. Yeah, that's not one we're going to try and get some review units off. <laughs> really, <laughs> don't get that. And the and only was other it. thing was, um, was the uh, Huawei, I'm going to say that wrong again. Huawei. Huawei, Huawei. Huawei is the, their headset, which the headset itself was really nice and high res. Yeah, um, that was that was a surprisingly nice. good thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's not it's not a mobile VR headset because it doesn't have a mobile that you put in it. It's just a screen, and it acts as an output device. So you have to connect it to either Steam VR or to your phone with a dis display port output, which is there isn't one of them, except for the new Huawei phone. I think I was yeah I was quite confused yeah. by that. I yeah unless there's some. A kind of app that I don't know about that will let you uh, like so move I don't a screen it, from USB. You plug it into your phone. It's a good virtual cinema, but honestly, for the price, you should probably just get an Oculus Go. Yeah. Is the same price as an Oculus Go? I, I think they said it was about the same. It was it was two hundred two two thousand Chinese <coughs> yuan, which is what two hundred dollars, two hundred quid, about two hundred quid. So mm. that's two fifty dollars, whatever, three hundred dollars. Yeah. So yeah, for that price, you might as well just get an Oculus Go. And that was it, which was really sad. That does make me sad that there wasn't more. I was really hoping to see Oculus there pushing some of their stuff. Or at least the new Vive uh, wireless 
the adapter thing. So there's no more cables for the Vive now. Oh. I'm getting, there was so little that I'm getting mildly paranoid that we were just terrible and we've missed it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. maybe there'll be a thousand comments on the video saying, you <laughs> yeah. the entire hall of VR, where were you? Were you at the same conference? <laughs> if we find some more tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I guarantee I'll talk about it tomorrow. But right yeah. now there was, there was nothing and I'm sad. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't very much. So what else did we check out? Joel, what were you looking at? Jackson and I went to Smart Home. Oh, home automation. lucky people. <laughs> yeah. You got the there was a lot stuff. of stuff, actually. <laughs> yeah, where did we start, actually? I think there were like two rooms. Two rooms full of it. Two um, full rooms, yep. I was surprised by how many cameras. There were security cameras and mm. um, door locks there were. There were a lot of those. Um, mm. The one that stood out, one of the first ones we went to was NetAtmo. Mm -hmm. um, they had a smart indoor camera that mm -hmm. doesn't really look like a camera. It looks it's like a cylinder. It's very sleek and stylish. Mm. Very much like a Canon Reason mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. And you walk in, you don't know it's a camera. Um, one of the cool features it has is that it has facial recognition. And you can set different people. You know, you can mm -hmm. insert or you can save someone's face mm -hmm. and they'll have like a profile. And every time they come into the room, the camera spots them. It'll log mm -hmm. that they entered the room. And if you want, you can also set it to record a couple of seconds of when they enter the room. And if somebody who you haven't saved enters, then it'll log as a stranger and send you a notification. Do you think that's actually going to work though? Yeah, actually. Will it not I just mean, recognize a bunch of family members as, oh, oh, there's see, a stranger in your house. That's the thing. If, if someone enters with the family member, then this, it, it is not an alert. Right. That's okay. okay. But yeah. then you're going to have to teach everyone in your family to like walk in and then carefully stand in front of the camera. <laughs> like that, yeah, I'm just so it recognizes you not first. not entirely sure how sensitive it would be or, or how accurate the facial recognition is, but the idea is there. I'm pretty I'd sure like with, to test that. Yeah, with future updates, it will probably get better. But it was a very cool device to see how um, NetAtmo has progressed from, you know, indoor air, air quality monitoring into the surveillance scene. Um, they also released an outdoor um, security camera, hmm. which uh, is very cool in the sense that it's got a built-in LED light, um, and um, not a lot of security cameras have that. And also it has um, object, um, is it? It has recognition yes. for faces, yes, that's right. animals, and, and cars. cars. Yeah. Oh, so if a car rocks up onto your porch, it would alert you um, if you set it to. That's you can set the recognition to, or you can set the triggering of the recording yeah. based on which <coughs> objects. So do okay. these integrate with anything apart from the Net, NetAtmo app? Um, is I that think all you oh, the other cool with? thing about the two cameras is that they record locally yes. to a micro SD. Right. And they and can also yeah. upload to Dropbox or your own FTP server. Can you trigger something like IFTTT or? I think so. I forget. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, that's the problem with all these smart home things. They're just they're so <laughs> they're in their own little system. You've got yeah, to use this app, and then I end up yeah. with a folder of smart home apps. See, that's the thing. They don't actually lock you into a subscription. Unlike yeah, but you still other... have to use their app. Uh, yes, you have to use the app. I mean, can the feed go into, say, the, the Synology surveillance station? I, I, I suspect so, yes, because they allow you to save it to Dropbox. So I suspect they would allow you to save it. And to, you see, we wouldn't know until we test one. Yeah. Um, well, when you do, hmm. um, yeah, when you do, all, test it with false mustaches, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I, You're asking gonna, the important question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like the idea, it recognizes you, but like, okay, so I, I, I would, all I would do is I'd say one is my face, then put on the false mustache and save another face as Barry. Yeah, actually, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a valid point. What yeah. if someone enters your house in a ski mask? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, what if well, you, can you, know, you change that. your hair color? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose you'd teach it again, wouldn't you? That would be the point. Because you'd be the one getting the notification. So, see. All this stuff is sort of interesting, though. Oh, one po point it of clarity, It just never though. works. Uh, one of the things you mentioned about the outside camera, you said it has an LED light. Did you yes. mean an infrared light? No, LED. No, LED floodlight. Yes, LED. No, here, oh, check, check out the picture. Sorry, okay. I, I got the picture here. It's got, it's got like a, oh, big, oh. a big security light When you said LED, light. I thought you meant like one, like a power LED. I was like, <laughs> no. Oh, that's special, mate. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. And, and, and this one, um, both of the cameras actually record to you know destination of your choice, um, yeah, which is really cool. Unlike mm. the new um, ring, um, stick up cam? 
right. right. Yeah. Do you want to tell them a bit more about that? Stick um, I mean, the the stick up cam is, is it the stick cam. Stick up cam. Stick. Yeah, it goes indoors and outdoors. You can mount it using a single screw, and you can take it down, move it wherever you want, stick it again. Can you literally oh. stick it, or do you need to screw it? You need to screw it. So it's the screw, screw up. up. Screw up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like a name. <laughs> it's meant to catch your mistakes. But the, but the, um, the cool thing I'd about like it is, is that it's both indoors and outdoors. So you can just buy one camera. You can use it anyway if you decide sure. to you know, bring the camera, put the camera outside. You can do that. Uh, the only thing is they couldn't confirm the rating, the waterproof rating. Um, and uh, it's not actually released yet, so they don't really know um, mm. what it will retail for. Oh. Um, and when it does, it's going to be locked into Ring's ecosystem. Is Ring the one that sort of shares it with your neighbours? And if there's something? no, that's not it, it. That's not Ring. No. Who's that? I forget. There's that's a company that does that, and then they, they share all the ones they've captured on yes, the Twitter. Those are that's, 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 that's not Ring. Another company. Right. Sorry, forget that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Mm. Um. What did, what did we see? We saw um, the, the the robot vacuum. Yes. The B7. What was it called? Um, That's the Nito. Nito. Right? The Nito, right. The Nito, yeah. So the, the Nito was Nito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Be, because <laughs> because cut, I'm cut like... That right <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I, I, I like a Roomba. It's got um, a flat front end. Right. So yeah. it's got a longer brush length, um, you know, um, as opposed to a, a Roomba, which is, you know, um, circular. Um, and so it, it, it tackles corners a lot better than a circular Roomba. Um, and, um, mm. and it's actually customizable this time. Yeah. Like what? You can put stickers on it? <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> I mean, so when you first get it, you set it up, it goes around your room, maps out the floor plan of your room. Um, the, the spokesperson said that it can map up to three rooms, I think, mm -hmm. or three levels. Three floors, yeah. Three floors. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is... But specifically, we're talking about the D7, the highest... Right, the D7. Um, yeah, they're getting, the flagship products, yeah. It's been out for a year, but they're getting a, a software update later this fall, and that is going to introduce a, the ability to write or to draw no-go lines where the the robot vacuum won't oh, okay. be able to cross the line okay. based on the floor plan. Like virtual no. fencing of some sort. Sorry? Like virtual fencing of yeah, some sort. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's if nice. you don't want it to go into the kitchen, you can just yeah. draw a line. You can also set zones hmm. where um, you can tell the, the robot, go clean this zone of this room oh. right now because it's oh, dirty or something. Thing. And later on, you'll be able to integrate with Alexa, Alexa. and Google Assistant. Right. And you'll be able to say, hey, go clean Go clean the zone. <laughs> Go clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's fantastic because the, the one I reviewed last month, that was the, the Shawa E20. It had a mapping feature, mm. but it literally just showed you a map. You couldn't do anything with it. You couldn't draw lines in it. You couldn't say, Go clean this bit. It just showed you a map and then mm. it was done. And it would redraw the map next time. It's like, Well, <coughs> thank you for showing me a map of my house. <laughs> yeah. I was not aware it looked like that. <laughs> thank yeah. you. So the only downside to that robot vacuum is its price. Right. It's a thousand euros. Oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's got a two hour vacuuming um, ability. And um, yeah, but uh, the cool thing is it will constantly be updated via software update. So it will only so get better. Say. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that it can be updated, it's got a firmware to update, um, it's, it's, it's great already. So. The thing is, is that <coughs> there's also a D4 and a D6 model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the software update won't be going to them first. But eventually, they might be moving it down to the to the lower models. Yeah. But that's just okay. Maybe. Well, that's some clever mapping features, anyway. Mm. Mm. Alexa's pretty standard now. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm. What else did we see? I'm pretty sure um, we saw something else. We saw Tato. Tato. Mm. Mm. Saw some smart thermostat uh, or something. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really into it because it's mainly for Europeans. It was really because like, we don't use thermostats like that. It was for heating, like boilers and yeah. But we don't really. I don't set the thermostat ever. 
Do you have you, a radio? You set it at like 18 and then you leave it for the rest of your life. Yeah, I mean... And everything <laughs> else is on a timer, right? <laughs> That's the thing. Um, we so don't need them. A smart thermostat is supposed to help you save energy. Mm. So you're setting at 18 for various days of the year. It's not energy efficient. I mean, the, the weather it? never does that. We don't... You don't need to change it because... The weather doesn't, doesn't it, it doesn't change the weather doesn't change <laughs> not, no not really no, it's never like worse that you need to, to no I mean so, you have a timer you so either turn the heating on or you don't <laughs> the rest I mean, of the world is in Britain and all the <laughs> 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 you said this is aimed at Europeans right I mean we don't really this, yeah, this is why Brexit smart happens <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't Fair want to enough. set like um, when I'm away from home to turn the thermostat up or down to save energy. No, because the heating's off. We don't need to save energy. It's off. Okay. Well, <laughs> what about automatically turning it on and off with geofencing? Like you, you leave a radius <laughs> that you set, and then once you're once you're gone, it automatically turns off. That is far too much effort because. Or it turns well, on as you're entering. What, what if it's on and you leave the house and you forgot to turn it off? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never had that situation. <laughs> I, I, I just I can't think ever micromanaging our thermostat or the on-off button for the heating. You're, I, I, just, I don't understand what's going on. You're the man that reviews things for a technology website, and we can't get you excited about a smart thermostat. I just can't what are get you excited. doing here, James? I just can't. It's not. It's <clears throat> useless. <laughs> That's my <laughs> summary review right there. <laughs> smart smart thermostat. 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 Make use of the proof. Sign it off. <laughs> Upload it. <laughs> yep. I mean, they also had another model. Um, I don't know if you have radiators, but... Um, mm. Not ones that can be set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a thermostat that you can replace the knob on the radiator, and you can just remotely change your radiator. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we don't really have those either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. So presumably that never has, turns the radiator up or down. Presumably that has a stepper inside it that physically turns. Exactly. The, yeah. So yes. it's a retrofit thing. Right? Yes, yeah, it yeah. is. It has it's a manual knob. I've, I've thought about that. But you can also use the app. Yeah. Mm. And I've it's thought like about fifty dollars per radiator, right? Mm. Oh, it's more Something. than that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's totally worth it. Mm. I'm just um, trying to work out how long you know. We have to talk about things before we can start talking about Cleo. <laughs> or, or do we not get to do that today? Who's Cleo? Do we not get to do that today? Are you kidding me? It's Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. No, you didn't see what that. Is... That was the male model. There's, there's two versions. What is wrong with this? I've already, I've already blown you it. You spoiled it. I've already blown it. We're not doing We're it already. Out, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so we, we gave the, no, we, the show <laughs> award. Nobody speak to me. <laughs> For us, we went, to, went to Cleo. Chloe! No, <laughs> <laughs> it's happened? Chloe! What have I done? Chloe. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Please oh. forgive me. <laughs> oh, we're never getting a review. <laughs> oh, man, I've blown it. This is it. We're never going to get to review That's Chloe. Done. Done. Just, you're crushing my dreams. All right, let's talk about... Uh, Chloe. 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 Well, Chloe. Chloe. All right. Okay. Okay. Like, let's try and dig ourselves out of this hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> Chloe. Like, okay. Here's the thing. Walking we don't even know the, what it is. Well, walking up to the thing, right? For, for a start, you walk up to the place, and this is at LG, and this is uh, and uh, Chloe is their version of a smart like Google Home Alexa kind of thing. But you walk up to the booth, and the first thing you see is plates of food with phones next to them on cords <laughs> because they know that if you want to test the camera on their phone, you're going to do it by photographing food. So they had plates of food there. That's the only point of a phone camera, right? Genius. And then there's this little thing sitting on the counter. It looks like a little ghost. It reminded me a little bit of Eve out of Wally, -E, you know, yeah, the, right, the robot. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, this little kind of ghost shape with this little screen with these like yeah. cute little digital oh. eyes on it. And, the, and the, the, the lady at their booth was explaining, well, this is our kind of thing. It integrates with the smart home. It's got that sort of like Google uh, Home yeah. or uh, mm. Alexa vibe to it. And I was listening going, oh, here we go. Like, <laughs> we need another one of these things in our life. Yeah. But it looks cool. And then she said, just down the end, uh, this isn't connected to the internet, so you can't 
Uh, so you, can't, you, you can't use you can't this one. But go down the end and we have a display thing. And I was like, oh, I suppose we'll go and have a look. And within five seconds, I was like, I am in love with a robot. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I, this is going to be like a, a, another child. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you had the same. You had the same experience, so didn't you? Yeah, I fell in love with it a bit earlier. <laughs> you, you were already excited on, on the way. I saw it on stage, yeah, and I just cool. couldn't. I, I couldn't pay attention to anything else. It just, I had this like stupid face, like. Mm. Well, you, we should explain That's what it actually does. What makes it so adorable? <sighs> I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, very, it's very personal. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't get the same experience. We were like. What's oh, Chloe? Yourself, the rest of us did. What's Chloe? What's all this hype about? So Joe and I went there and were like, uh, is this it? Just a couple of robots standing there doing nothing. They move! No, they oh, they, they move. move! It doesn't just move. You can program new dance moves. Let's be clear about that. I don't I, think we saw the same thing. They all have different functions too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's also the Chloe. Suit bot. We know mm. not the demo, but it's it's an actual exoskeleton for. Uh, they gave her legs. Hmm? No, that, it's, that's it's a, a bit different. different. Yeah. Um, it's just like a skeleton. Um, an exoskeleton that, helps you move. that you can wear. That I, you I can think wear. we've gone off the rails now. Seriously. And it has what face? What? No, it doesn't. What? But I thought it can be like a living cyborg sort of. of what are you? I'm thing? so confused. What? Because we saw the exoskeleton thing, and yeah. Yeah. it was just like I wanted to get in that, but they wouldn't let me. But that's for people. <laughs> yeah. People, that's for people legs. Yeah. It's yeah. a fake legs yeah. for people. But all I can imagine now is the fake legs and the Chloe. <laughs> <head>. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, not, it's the rise of the machines kind of stuff. That's all I can imagine now. We haven't that actually explained. Terrifying. Okay, we haven't actually had really explained what. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. That's so because we don't really know what it is. <laughs> it's a Google Home with cute eyes that moves, and when you pat it on the head, it goes, ah, and I spent, <laughs> I spent 10 minutes pressing and the button that makes it go it, like yeah. this, and so I could nod back at it. And it's a, yeah, it's a machine. I don't know. I don't know. I went there expecting to hate it, and now I really want one. I don't know what's yeah. wrong with me. Yeah, and it makes They've done a good eyes. thing. She's very endearing. Yeah. They could, they could even make if it massive, is useless. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the canon it is. That's, this is the point. It's it so is bad. It's, it's actually good. It's we should tell you that's that's canon, by the way. I think canon should come here on video. <laughs> say, 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 say hi to camera cat. <laughs> you can stay off until tomorrow. But you're, you're not wrong. Like it looks yeah, like yeah. garbage, and it probably is. <laughs> I well, don't she was talking about it yeah. controlling your cooker and stuff, and I was getting a bit worried there, like controlling the gas. The well, it, it's a smart, it's an integrated smart home thing. Yeah. It's LG's yeah. approach into it. But the point is, it's not surprising that LG want to make their own smart home thing that works with all the LG products. The thing that right. surprises me is I don't care about any of that. <laughs> I just want a cute ghost. <laughs> I don't yeah. get why this is happening to me. It's not like me. It, it is actually going to be sold then. We, did, we didn't bother to check on that. We didn't we? check prices. Or anything. We, were we were just like, how very practical. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of practical, We're professional journalists, we you know? had an idea about maybe asking to review one. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, like, that's, a good, that's a good idea. What a idea. <laughs> while we're all here, we should just get it in the Airbnb. And yeah, and I could sleep with it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's well, this took a weird turn. Yeah, this is... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should finish it there because uh, it doesn't it's get so any better than that. <laughs> I think this is this is a perfect uh, this is a perfect representation of how this has been going. It started off as a very serious talk about tech, ended up with you talking about sleeping with a robot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, robot ghost. <laughs> oh dear. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow we'll be back again with day two at E for twenty eighteen. What are we going to be checking out tomorrow? I know I'm going to see home net working stuff with mm -hmm. Canon. Um, we're, we're, doing gaming. Uh, we're on gaming. Uh, specifically, we want to see the... We want the throne. Well, the throne. Where's yes. the throne? We didn't to create the throne. Thronos. Thronos. Thronos, which yes. is an insanely good and terrible name at the same time. But yeah, the throne is supposed to be at Aoife. So far, we haven't been able to source it out. Also, the Razer, the Razer things are not phones or game consoles, but they're somewhere in between. They seem sort of interesting. Yeah. Wait, who, what, what does everyone else do? Well, we're doing wearables tomorrow, yeah. aren't we? Wearables. Yes, wearables. wearables. Yeah. That yeah. should be fun. Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, what are you guys doing tomorrow? We're doing... You're with me for networking. home networking. Tina's, networking. Tina's on... Yeah, we'll audio, do audio. audio. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in the audio stuff. I really want to see what they've the, got. And, yeah. and you and I are going for the Amazon keynote at the start, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that's tomorrow then, isn't it? Alexa stuff, maybe? Mm. Looking forward to that. All right. So join us again tomorrow. Yep. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.